This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. So, um, just want to point this out. How many hours of this route did we spend on things that really did not matter for the overall plot, like fake dating Michiru? And yet, all of a sudden now, we went from like going one mile an hour to going 800,000 miles an hour, and just with a snap of the fingers, boom, we're in America, meeting this random girl's parents. Are you kidding? This game... Nice banjo music. That we are. How was that? Blink of an eye, right? It's just... I, you know what? I, I can't... I can't even process this anymore. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just gonna take everything as it comes, and whatever. I placed a sales call to your house on the ride over. A woman answered the phone, so they're probably home. Incidentally, they don't seem to have any plans to purchase high-quality carpets at the moment. <laughs> That's the thing that makes you realize he's a bad person? I'll have a bit of a guilty conscience if she'd asked me for a free sample or something, but that wasn't how it happened. No harm done, right? I keep up my conversation with Yuji kun but most of it seems to go in one ear and out the other. Yeah, that's him. Okay, that's her thinking. This is the town I grew up in, the street I return to every day. The very smell of the air brings back a flood of memories. And although it's a little dirtier than I remembered it, this is definitely my house. We'll be going back in time for dinner. You came this far, so don't hesitate. Get going. Okay, um, they must live in California. Or somewhere on the West Coast. Because there's no way you could get from Japan to America that fast at all. I don't care if you're using private jet going, like, breaking the sound barrier or whatnot. Like, it's gonna take a while. Also, how are they going to recognize their daughter? This does not look like their daughter. This doesn't make any sense at all. My gosh, this is bonkers. I take my sweet time just getting to the porch. After a few hesitant moments, I reach up and put my finger on the doorbell. But I can't bring myself to press it. Minutes slide by as I stand there like a statue. I consider having Yuji kun ring the bell in my place, but that would defeat the point of the visit. Even so, the tiny plastic button in front of me looks like an, some enormous, intimidating golem. The sort of thing you'd hang by the gate of hell. Want to have regular Michiru do this and reverse the whole thing that usually happens? Maybe I can't do this. Maybe I'll just give up and crawl back in failure. What the heck is about to happen? I spin around to find myself face to face with Mom. Wasn't she supposed to be inside the house? Oh, but I guess you can see the front door pretty clearly from the garden. Since I was just standing out here all this time, maybe she thought I was some kind of suspicious character. She used to drive off door-to-door -door salesmen like this every once in a while when I was a kid, come to think of it. Can't say I expected her to be keeping that up at this age. The amusement, shock, hesitation, and happiness swell up in me all at once, fusing into an unidentifiable mass of emotion. <laughs> Sorry, this guy tried to sell me carpets, and he, man, was he a douche. <laughs> this is so unrealistic. Nobody in America would just invite random teenage girl in. Like, well... You know, I'm just gonna stop talking there. Americans are not known for their hospitality. And apparently American mother speaks Japanese perfectly. Don't know why. Aww. Oh, that's cute. 
早くしないとこういう手が出るよ。あんたみたいなちっちゃい子は。Oh yeah, if you live near creepers, we better get inside. はい。どうせおばちゃんの一人暮らしだからね。あお。遠慮することはないよ。Guess she and dad aren't together. Oh wow! Oh man, we actually get to see Mom's sprite! Aww. Well, this is not. Wow. You know, if, at the start of the stream, if I were to tell you where I thought the route was going to go, it absolutely would not have gone to any of the places that it reached today. But here we are. Mom bustles into the kitchen and makes tea for me. It's her special black blend with honey and ginger. When I was a kid, I really loved this stuff. I remember asking for so many refills that she'd get mad. Are they supposed to be speaking English right now? Because to me, it seems like they're definitely still speaking Japanese because they actually have some of the characters, specifically Makina, actually speak English words in this game. So you'd think that if they were in America and if they're speaking English, they would just speak English. Because I haven't had a problem doing that until just now. Mom smiles at me like a child. Oh, so they just didn't get voice actors to speak English. The tea definitely isn't bad, but the flavoring's a little too sweet for me now. Are the ingredients different? Does this ton work differently than mine, or did I just grow up? That would be weird! Like, I've always wondered if other people just flat out taste food differently than I do. Because, for example, I absolutely despise bananas. Like, I literally cannot get bananas past my gag reflex. That's how much I hate them. And I always wonder, I'm like, do they just flat out taste differently to me than to everybody else? Or are there people who just, they genuinely like the really sweet, cloying taste of bananas? I, I truly don't know. It's probably the latter. But that would be interesting. If you if you were a different personality that got put into another body, would food just generally taste different? I never thought about that. Because it, it, you don't need to, because it doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> Glancing around the room, I notice how spare and empty it is. A small twinge of something like loneliness has strikes me. It's the sort of melancholy you might feel when walking a scrawny old dog on a rainy day. Uh, <laughs> Oh no! I didn't agree with a lot of the stuff that Dad said, but I didn't want him to die. Mom chuckles at her own joke, but I know how much she loved Dad. She has to be forcing herself. ああ、娘がいたよ。とっても可愛くて優しい子でね。生きてたらあんたと同じくらいなはずさ。うん。その子がいなくなってからお父ちゃんは人が変わったみたいに仕事に没頭してね。I was about to point out that she didn't have any gray hairs, but she probably just dyes her hair. So, <laughs> Mom answers, that I was, her voice like a sigh. This is weird that she's just opening up to random teenage girl she doesn't know. Thumping her own chest, Mom smiles brightly at me. Not knowing what to say, I just sip my tea. Imagine if real Michu just takes over right now, and she's just like, Where the heck are we? Oh, we're in America! <laughs> like, how? 
That would be a hard thing to explain. <laughs> I forced the question out of my mouth. It feels like leaping headfirst into the Niagara Falls. I don't recommend doing that. So does does Yuji have a pilot's license? And literally just like they're like, oh well, Yuji, here you go, here's a plane, <laughs> fly to America. Or is there another pilot who's like, hey, I know it's like literally no notice, but can you fly Yuji and random girl to America and just stay there then fly them back? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like this what on earth? Mom leaves the room, but returns only a moment later. There's a strain of worn-out old paper cranes in her hands. Awagami! <laughs> I touch the cranes with the tips of my fingers. The paper's damp and a little moldy. Even so, my heart fills up with warmth. <laughs> to say that Yuji is a thane is a massive understatement. Like, I already had my problems with him. But after today and what he did, I'm like, he's the worst. He's he's actually the worst. <laughs> Just imagining my stern-faced dad hunching over, hunched over a table making origami makes me want to laugh. Not his style at all. バカみたいなことって分かってるけどもしももう一度あの子に会えるなら謝りたいよ親なのに子供を最後まで守ってやれなくてごめんってね幸せにしてやれなくてごめんって。Are we going to explain to her mom that this is her daughter technically? Or is it just going to be like, um, I'm sure she would appreciate it, and then we leave. I kind of hope it's the first one, but that's going to be hard to explain. <laughs> also, how convenient that she's just pouring her feelings and heart out to random girl she only just met. I know it's for storytelling purposes, but, like, come on. There could have been a better way of doing this. Watching Mom struggle on the brink of tears, I'm overcome by the need to do something. Anything. I reach out and take her hand in mine. She's surprised for a moment, but soon gently squeezes back. Her hand's wrinkled and dry, but still just as warm and comforting as I remember it. They, they, yeah, they are doing the second one. All of a sudden, there's a thick lump at the bottom of my throat, and the words can't find their way past. Mom leans over and begins thumping me softly on the back. Oh, that's weird. So if they're supposed to be speaking English right now, so other Michiru can speak English because she's from America... How is she also able to speak Japanese? I just, it, this is like Pocahontas, where like, oh no, Pocahontas and John Smith don't speak the same language, language and can't communicate with each other. Oh wait, no, magic happens and they can magically understand each other now. It's like, what was the point of even say having them speak different, different languages in the first place? <laughs> Mom's stroking my hair just like she used to, but the tears won't stop. <laughs> And with that, the flow of wounds, the flow of words stops entirely. I throw myself into Mom's arms, bawling like a baby. She seems a little taken aback, but gently embraces me. In the end, I can't do a thing. 
My voice twisted beyond recognition. I somehow managed to croak out the words. Takes everything I have to just shake my head. It's not your fault, Mom. None of this is. I'm the only one who needs to apologize. There are so many things I want to say, but I can't get any of it across. I don't want to leave like this, but the words won't come. Even though I might never see her again, even though this might be the very last time I hear her voice, all I can do is cry. Meanwhile, Yuji's just like, Pfft! By the way, this is your daughter! Her heart got transplanted into a Japanese girl, and it gave her another personality with the memories and voice of your daughter. <laughs> Surprise! By the way, I'm, I'm the guy who tried to sell you carpets. Mom, I... I... The words just won't come. It's no good. Oh my gosh, they did pull the reversal of what usually happens. Now regular Michiru's coming to her the rescue. How is Michiru speaking English? There is no way that regular Michiru can speak English. She had to take those terrible English lessons, and it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious how, how warped it all was. My mouth's moving all by itself, speaking for me, but it's not unpleasant. I know Michiru must be doing this for me. <laughs> Mom smiles, something like relief in her eyes, and my mouth keeps on moving. <laughs> ずうずうしいお願いかもしれませんが、お手紙送ってもいいですか。そうやおや。もちろんだともさ。時間ならたっぷり余ってるからね。うちにはパソコンがないけど、それでもいいかい。今時の子はペンで手紙を書くなんて
to her childhood friend and to heart transplant girl. We never get them. It's ridiculous. I wouldn't mind taking the time for a thorough analysis of the matter, but in any case, I'm currently at my wit's end. Hmm. That's the American way. Oh no. How are we going to date two girls? This is weird. They are badly balanced, but not for that reason. Great, so now this is going to be a feint. Now they'll just swap between personalities at will, randomly. Great, I thought the whole point was to get closure for of her Michiru, so that way she could, like, go in peace, basically. But no, now now we have to date both of them. Um, I don't know how to feel... Actually, I have many things to feel about this. I don't like it. Well, I suppose boring would be one way to describe it, yes? Well, the vocation doesn't matter. Anywhere is fun when I'm with you. <laughs> Just kidding! Yeah, it's true. Hmm? As you can see, both personalities are now capable of emerging at the same time. Great! A nasty side effect of my improvised hypnotism, perhaps? Then again, apparently Michiru took over the conversation for the girl on our visit to California. I, I knew they were on the West Coast, so maybe that's what did it. Whatever the case may be, there's no changing the fact that this is a major pain in the ass. How does that work? I'm sorry, but you're supposed to only be with one girl, and we're kind of with two. Sort of. It's weird, and I don't like it. Because it's not even a case of she has, like, multiple personalities. There's literally two different people living inside her body. That's... that's gonna make things real weird. I mean, things are already really weird and uncomfortable, but now it's just... really bad. I haven't even been paying attention to what they're saying. Ah. Ceiling above the room is where her diary and rocks are. Way to change the, all the rules about the previously established world in the last act! Mitsuru mm. mm. looks up at the sky, her expression slightly bashful. No worries, Yuji can just snap his fingers, get a private jet anytime. I mean, I I hate to say yeah, but kind of. And now it's it's kind of yours, Mitru. I don't like this. Mitru jabs out a finger to emphasize the point, but with nowhere in particular to aim it, she ends up pointing at herself. Look, 
一人にさせておくと勝手に暴走するしバカチ私もいなきゃダメでしょうねえ何その言い方すごい君はしっかりするのでちゃんと私が助けてあげるから大丈夫君の真似なら得意だからね何よあんたに私のこのスーパーナチュラルツンデレができるっていうの I'm not glad that her Sundere is back, but I am glad that these hilarious faces are back. <laughs> the conversation seems to have taken a highly problematic turn. I'd love to pretend I hadn't heard, but that's not a realistic option right now. Instead, I grunt out a reluctant half groan of a response. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah, understood. It shouldn't be a problem. Of course. Enough of the dramatic build up. Just do it already. Okay, I don't have a damn clue. Mitra stares intently at my face, her eyes filled with confident expectation. God knows what's going to happen to me if I get this wrong. <laughs> Another choice, and this determines the good or bad ending. Left with no alternative, I pull out the trump card. I love you too. After a moment of bewilderment, a big grin spreads across her face. So how does this work? Because Michiru Prime clearly likes Yuji. Don't know why, but she does. But alternate Michiru... Doesn't seem to care much for him. How is this gonna work? Plot twist. It won't. No telling how long this trick will keep working. Have to figure out something else before she catches on. <laughs> oh, brother. Hmm. That's how it ends, apparently. This is a boppin' song, at least. Okay. Well, that route was a thing. I like the cat's animation. This is a catchy song. So it seems like something that you might hear in Katamari. Well, um... <clears throat> I have very mixed feelings about that route. Dang, this song is awesome. It's way better than the one in the Sachi route. Aw. That was probably my favorite CG. Oh, it's called Skip, apparently. That might have been my least favorite CG. That or the one with the panty shot. They both sucked. Well, that one's just weird. Machina's ending theme is called The Forest of Doubt, apparently. Oh. I hated that CG, too. For, but for obvious reasons. Yeah, I didn't like that CG. Although, thankfully, the panty shot is cut out of this one. That was a trippy one.
Well, all right then. Well, oh no, there's an epilogue apparently, and that I apparently got the good ending. Oh, she's writing to her mom.心よく私を迎え入れてくれたことを深く感謝しています。娘さんはおばさまのことをとても愛していたと思います。もちろん旦那さんのこともです。でも年頃になると恥ずかしくてそういったことが面と向かって言えなくなる時期があるのです。私に
おやすみなさい I can feel her closing her eyes and sinking into sleep. Since we accepted each other, we've picked up a bunch of new tricks like this. These days, I can feel her moving inside me. Oh, that's her talking. Three minutes until scheduled time of assembly. I'm going to make you both run, by the way. Timeless, timeliness is a group responsibility. I take the envelope and begin to fold her letter. Then pause, grab a pen, and scratch a few lines at the very bottom of the page. For some reason, I remembered the way she hid my treasures. When I slid the corner of tile free from the dorm room ceiling, my diaries and photos came tumbling down along with my treasure rocks. Maybe... My patience is at an end. I'm leaving you behind. Next time, get moving five minutes before you think you need to. He's like, P.S. Would you like to buy some carpets? <laughs> Oh, do we not get... Are we about to read what he wrote under the PS? Oh, Oh. oh, that was nice of him. I still think he's an absolute psychopathic tool, but... Aww. That was cute. We only saw it for half a second. Um. Why is the screen black? I didn't do anything. The screen's even black on my screen. Can it tell that I'm recording this and it's like, oh, you're not allowed to record this. That was that was very strange because we literally only saw the drawing for half of a second, and then it just cut out, and now it's finishing up the theme song and presumably the credits, but it's not showing it. How do they do that? Where they're just like, "Oh, we can tell you're recording it," and ah, uh -uh, we're gonna black out the screen if you're recording it. Do they really care that much? This game came out like what, 15 years ago? I don't get it. And then it flashed. And then it flashed back for a second again. Okay, well we finished Mitru's good ending. I assume that's the good ending. It felt like the good ending, even though I don't think it was that good for her. Well, all right. There's a whole lot I could say about that, my thoughts on that route, but I think I made it pretty clear when playing it. <laughs> it had some good parts, but wowie wow wow, Yuji really really sucked at the end there, and that's all I have to say about that. All right. Had some really cool story aspects. I was definitely engrossed in the writing, but, um... Yeah. That was hard to get through at the end because of how... What a terrible person Yuji is.